Hey everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today, we're not doing a knife review, but we are doing a knife overview. We're going to be taking a look at this knife here. This is the Blade HQ exclusive CJRB Mini Feldspar. So, let's get right into this. This is not a review, so we're going to skip our size comparisons. Uh, if you want to see size comparisons, you can go ahead and go to this link of my review of the CGRB small feldspar. We will compare it against the large feldspar though, just because I think it's appropriate. So there you go. All right. So what makes this exclusive so exclusive? Besides the fact that you can only get it from Blade HQ. Not sure where that was going. Anyways, <laughs> what makes this knife an exclusive? So right away, you can see we have Jade G10 scales. This is kind of a trademark with uh, Blade HQ exclusives. They always do the, the Jade G10 or the natural G10, whatever you want to call it. And we'll get back to that. Um, but the other difference is this S35VN blade. Yep, S35VN it is black coated. So... What do I think about this little knife? Well, first of all, I think this looks pretty cool. Um, the way that you get it like this looks really cool. And uh, we'll come back to looks a little bit later. Um, other than that, it has all the big hits of the original mini feldspar. For example, you have this really, really great pocket clip. Countersunk with flat screws. You love to see it. Really, really nice clip. Probably one of the best clips on any CJRB knife. Even though they all use the same clip, but some of them some of them aren't sunk into the scales and some of them have some of them have button screws. In fact, case in point, the original feldspar. Yeah, button screws for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, great clip. And then again, countersunk liners with nice easy access to the liner lock. Thumb stud action running on bearings. Um I talk about this a little bit more in the review of the small feldspar, but I don't like the action on the small ones as much as on the full size. Um, and again, you can check out the my review for more information on that. But yeah, this is a really cool little knife. Um, nice, really pointy drop point blade, very useful. Good ergos. The uh, G10 scales here are contoured just like the uh, stock version. So really really nice to see um yeah so s35vn yes please this is a very slicey knife the blade stock isn't like paper thin but it does come down to a to a nice easy nice thin edge i don't know why i said easy um i haven't actually measured this guy but my um other small feldspar is 17 or 18 thousandths behind the edge Maybe 15. I can't remember. Anyways, it's a good slicer. It's a nice performing knife. Plenty of belly. Again, nice pokey tip. And S35VN. Yeah, that's really nice to see. This will make this knife just that much better. Yeah, there we go. So, really like to see that. Now, these handle scales. The best thing about Blade HQ doing these exclusives exclusives with this stuff is if you like the look of this knife which i do yeah it looks really cool but if you don't like these you can dye them whatever you whatever color you want and i actually will be dyeing these and if i dye these before i edit this video then i'll include some footage or pictures of what it looks like afterwards but um yeah and if not i'll just do a, a, an update video so yeah Really cool look, very customizable. Um, oh, another thing about the, the blade, good choil. It gives you a little bit to sharpen. It does end pretty close to the plunge, but whatever. So yeah, price. This thing is about 75 bucks for the small one. I think it's 78 bucks for the big one. Um, it, the big ones are currently out of stock. Actually, I don't know when this video comes out. When this video comes out, they might be out of stock entirely, and I do not know if they're coming back. But if they are coming back, I will be jumping on and grabbing a larger version because 
This is really nice. S35 Vienna is one of my favorite blade steels. This is one of my favorite knife designs ever. You guys have heard me say it before. I think the Feldspar, the CGRB Feldspar, is one of the greatest budget knives ever. And I stand by that. Fantastic knife. Uh, downsides. Well, besides the, the, the downsides of the this knife design in general, which, again, we're not going to go into. You can check out my video for that. Um, I do kind of wish they'd gone with a different color on the pivot collar other than black. You know, for example, you know, pop of gold here. I just, I don't know. I mean, it does fit the overall look. You know, everything's black except the scales. The hardware, the clip, the blade, the thumb studs. Everything is black, you know, the liners, but... I don't know, I, I, maybe this is just me thinking about how I want to dye this knife and wishing that this pivot was a different color, but, ah, I don't know. That's going to be a personal preference thing. Um, next, let's look here, if it'll focus. The finishing around, like that pivot, you can see the G10, isn't exactly amazing, but... It's better on this side, but yeah. Uh, another thing, you know, black coated blades, it'll and hardware and clip for that matter, it'll collect scratches and stuff a lot, a little bit easier. But you know, whatever. I do find it odd that you know, there's another version of the feldspar that has the AR RPM nine stainless powder metallurgy steel, and it's got a coated blade, and yet I haven't seen any. Feldspars in D2 with coated blades, which is ironic because it seems like all their stainless versions have coated blade. I don't know. I don't know. That's just that's just me. But um, yeah. Overall, I think this is a fantastic exclusive, and this is a really really cool version of this knife. Seventy five bucks for S35 VN inset liners, contoured handles, and just infinite usability. Yeah, this is good, guys. This is good, and if you can find one, like I said, I don't know if they're going to be coming back in stock. I'll try and have this video out while there's still some of the little ones in stock, but no promises. Um, it's really cool. I like it a whole lot, and it's just a really, really nice knife. And that's going to be it for me today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. All right, are you ready to see the completed die job? Shabam! Yeah, that's pretty, isn't it? That's real pretty. I think it looks good. I think it looks really, really good. Focus in there, camera. Yeah, real good looking.